Hello and welcome into the next iteration of God Take the Wheel, where I randomly choose what uh, settings we choose to start the world. So here we are on a new game and we are going to set. Everything I can set to random goes to random. And there's a couple changes to the rules that are going to come up as we get to them. But first things first, let's roll City State Ban. Ooh, I've actually banned all city states. Interesting. So I don't need to go to this list. I can just turn city states down to zero. I think. I don't think I've ever played a game without city states. Okay, next one. Disaster intensity. Who knows? Uh, does it make a whole lot of difference? But we are on maximum heavy. Okay. Uh, let's roll the map type. This is kind of fun. You never know what's going to happen. I never know what maps to choose. And it is. Ooh, okay. Tilted. I don't know if I've ever played a game. With this. this is the, so the, the fun thing about this is I've never, a lot of these games I've never played. Uh, so it's all, it's all kind of interesting. Uh, let's do map size. Tiny, perfect. I don't have to change anything. <laughs> Leader pool doesn't change. We'll leave on everything. Um, wonder, world age, random. I, I put the starting position to balanced. Um... Stand, I don't know, just balanced. I think I, I've just been leaving it as standard, but I think balance is a better rule. Uh, we'll players, we'll do game modes. Sure, let's do game modes now. First roll is do 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 apocalypse again. <laughs> Why not? <clears throat> again, we roll this four times. So one is apocalypse. Number two is something nice. Monopolies. That's not bad. Rule number three. Something uh, good ones would be kind of nice here. Hey, my buddy here. Maybe we'll get Herc. Maybe we'll get Herc. And one more roll. Just not dramatic ages. Just not dramatic. Okay. Uh, Zombers again. Okay. I don't mind. Again, none of these are really that big a deal. Dramatic. The biggest thing to me about Dramatic Ages last game is that you can't get a Golden Age. <laughs> like, who does that? Uh, game difficulty. Here is the first change of the rules. From now on, we shall only play on Deity. Um, I find all these other changes, it just makes life harder on the AI. So I'm going to make it harder on myself. I'm just going to do Deity. Uh, we do have a roll for a starting era, and I'm going to roll it this time, but I think this might be the last time we do an era change. Um, I'll, I'll talk about it here in a second. We have... Oh, just classical. Okay. I found after playing last game is that the AI just doesn't know how to play the game. Uh, if, he, if you go too deep into the game, I don't feel like the, the AI is designed to handle it. So I find uh, starting earlier in the game like i'm just going to leave it on ancient i think from now on or like between yeah we'll just leave it on ancient from now on it just makes it so much easier for the player i find uh i leave dupes on i leave dupes on and no barbs off we do actually roll for tribal villages hasn't happened yet and it might not no we're tribal villages and that's um to add a bit more challenge. And here, the last thing to roll is for what victory condition shall we ban? After going back to back science and religion. Oh, good, 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 good. We are gonna ban science. Excellent. So yeah, we'll get into the game and there's another role to be had and we'll talk to you about that once we find the start. And what leader shall we get? I have got no idea. If it is a dupe or of something that we've done recently, I will re-roll it. Um, but you just never know what Siv Meyer is going to give to me for today. Uh, it's going to be an interesting game with four players. 
a smaller game with no city states. Again, rolling no city states but getting um, barbarian clan mode would actually be fine because around turn 100 or so you would start getting barb clans to ro to appear. But up until that point, like uh, it's it's amazing. Ooh, uh, ooh, the Japanese Emperor to Tokugawa. Um, the features and abilities, uh, Bakugan. International trade routes receive negative 25 yields and tourism, but domestic trade routes provide plus one culture, plus one science. Oh, so much you want to be very, like, independent. Interesting, okay. All districts receive an additional standard adjacency bonus for being adjacent to another... Okay, so just group all my districts together. Okay, let's take a look at the start. Yeah, so let's take a look and see what the map is that we're going to get here. And we can talk about the new spin, the new spin. Every era, I'm going to roll basically some kind of nerf. Uh, and we'll roll it here and we'll talk about it uh, once the map shows up. Ooh, that's an interesting start. Oh, yeah, because we've got all the boosts. We got all the boosts because of the error chain. Okay, let's roll. And so this is meant to be a big nerf. Ooh, Ursa Lock. Okay, so that means for this entire era, I can only settle one city. So my, like a, po like a Nuzlocke, uh, where you can capture one Pokemon per route, I can only build one city per era, not including my starting city. Oh, look at that. I didn't even, um, the one tile, um, I was, I've got a wonder settle. I didn't even see, I wasn't even paying attention to it. Um, yeah, so an Ursa Lock. Uh, so every era we're going to roll this again, and it could be things like, um, no wonders, no trade routes, no great people, uh, things like that. And if you, the viewer, if you've got great ideas that I could add to a wheel to spin every era that would give me a big nerf, by all means, throw it in the comments and I will add it to it. Uh, but for now, let's take the scout, uh, go where we can, not very far. So we're, I'm on a tilted map, uh, that means, uh, the poles are on the corners, and I am somewhere about mid of the map. Look at all the bananas start. This is a crazy good start. Uh, where do I settle? I'm gonna settle right on the iron, I think. Uh, I would lose a production, but that's fine. We settle here. Look at all the error score. Yes. Uh, I have to remind myself that I am also on zombie mode and apocalypse mode. So rivers are going to flood, uh, volcanoes are going to erupt, and zombies are going to appear out of nowhere. So I do need to keep an eye on that. Um, but I think I can just basically upgrade or update everything I can reach uh, to make this capital as good as possible. I don't need to worry about um, things like appeal or anything like that. The only thing that really matters deeper into the game is getting adjacency on districts. So I think for what that means is the first thing I'm going to do where I can only make one bill or one settler for the era is get a settler out right away. Just straight up get a settler out. Nothing else matters. I've already got a scout. I've already got a unit. So let's get a settler out. And try to explore the local area to find out um, where the second city is going to go right away. Here, as far as um, technology, I do want to go towards um, apprenticeship right away. Build three mines, but I, I do want to get these all boosted as much as possible. So I'm going to try to stay to things that I have boosted that are important to me. So I think the, the boost into Swordsman right away for the combat strength against uh, zombies is going to be important. Actually, uh, iron, yeah, I settled on iron. I've got iron per turn now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's iron right there. Yeah, I was just thinking that, like I could go to horses too where I have two horses, but this is fine. The actual next important question for me to ask myself is what governor do I appoint? And what, gov what a government do I take? As far as government goes, I would normally go to like um, settler production, but I'm only going to make the one. I'm only going to make the one this game or with, with this era, so I don't need to make many. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make a many wonders this era either. So let's put God King in now to get my Pantheon. And then uh, as far as uh, militarist, militaristic one, um, I don't think discipline works towards barbs. 
or towards uh, zombies, but it will against barbs. So let's, uh, yeah, let's put discipline in. The same old, same old. Uh, as far as governors go, though, I'm going to appoint Magnus. And the reason for Magnus is because as Hoshigawa, I get um, big boost for doing internal trade routes. And if I pr promote Magnus uh, to surplus logistics, I get 20% uh, growth in the city plus my trade routes get two extra food. Uh, and then I have the ability to change pr to provisions later on too. And this is a big, big thing right now where I'm on the Ursalok rules where I can only get one city. But maybe deeper into the game I'll, I'll promote provisions as well. But for right now it's surplus logistics. That way when we get the first city out, trade route goes in automatically. I'm going to have like a, a four food, four production trade route right away. Well, there's some zombies and the zombies are going to eat my scout. Um, so I do want to keep my scout away from the zombies. Uh, but I think my second city is going to go over here. There's so much jungle for me to chop out. I think it's going to be this direction. Uh, if I'm only getting get two cities this era, I think spreading them out and getting uh, higher production. So like over here is going to grow so fast. Uh, maybe more than two tiles away from this volcano would be nice though. <laughs> uh, as far as Tokyo goes though, uh, there's going to be a crazy good holy site here. Uh, I'll try to do Stonehenge maybe and then there's going to be a really good campus. Uh, once Stonehenge is down, I tear up the... Yeah, there, there'll be these options. There's my Pantheon, and before I make a settler, I could get a settler. Huh. And that means I would have a settler queued up for the next era. That's not a bad call. That's the kind of way to get around the old Ursulok rules. But what else is there here? Um... Goddess of the Festival, plus one culture per plantation. There is one, two, three, four, five, six bananas, seven bananas that I can see. Uh, that's not bad. I don't think I've ever taken <laughs> Goddess. Of, I don't think I've ever taken Goddess of the Festivals. Um, yeah, Lady of the Reason marshes. I've got one marsh, not in my capital. Divine Spark would be nice. Um, I'm, I like I haven't decided if I'm gonna go for religion yet. The only thing about these bananas is I probably late late in the game I'm probably gonna chop them out, uh, and they're not necessarily in the first or second ring of my capital. Uh, that's a hard call. I think just because it's here and I never get it, other unless I've been uh, China. As Yongle, uh, I'm gonna take some re religious settlements. And that means automatically I need to stop this settler that I've got in the queue here. Because I'm only led one more, I've only led the big one settler. Uh, instead, I'm gonna make a trade route. And the second that the trade, the city is settled, I'll put the trade route into it. Uh, where to settle though? Um, probably like right here-ish. I'll backtrack with a spearman to, to catch up to him. So that I don't get uh, a Zamber attacking me. And I do want to chop out a holy site. Now let's take a look at the Stonehenge. So like I, I've got a campus, there's a plus two here. But if I put a holy site down there, that turns that into a plus three. However, um, I could go for Stonehenge. Okay, yeah, I could put Stonehenge here and then leave that as the, um, this, this, yeah, the campus. So I would need to buy that tile for 75. And how much is a builder? 200? Do, do, do. Sorry, so many things to think about. Two hundred. Uh, I'm far enough. I'm far ways away from actually buying a builder. Hmm. And I've got how many chops left? I've got one chop left. I think because I want to buy and chop that. T let's let's go over here, and next turn I will buy and chop Stonehenge out. 
And if I don't get Stonehenge, I'll just turn the production into a district. Please, oh god, I need to get away, get away. Oh no, that means the, the zombies are gonna get, get that guy. There's no way. Okay, well, so much for that scout. Uh, let's link just to be safe. Uh, go up here. And next turn, we'll start the Stonehenge. So I'm going to, I think the trade road can stop, can wait. If I go into queue, stop the queue, uh, go here, buy the tile, go to my builder, chop out the square. Uh, scout, you need options. Yeah, the woods can be your savior. Um, and let's throw down the Stonehenge down to 10 turns. And link these guys up, play it a little bit safe, come over here. Yeah, my scout's got no way around these barbs, and, or the zombies and the, the barbarians are going to find me too. Oh, it's horrible. It's so horrible. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I need some units. Uh, I need some units badly. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, here, where to settle? Um, I want to save as many of these chops as I can for districts, but the adjacency should be fine. Um, I'm just going to settle here, I think. Sometimes it's better to get your city down than to hum and haw and get a thousand decisions. Uh, I'm 9 out of 14, so a normal aid should not be a problem. Uh, but uh, I need to be worried. I'm not sure if zombies can actually raise your capital or not, but I'm going to leave the spearmen somewhere near Nagoa. Again, I think what I'm supposed to do is go into here and um, change my city name to the the era that I'm in. So I should be called Classical. And that's the whole point to uh, uh, Ursalok is you try to beat the game with a uh, very, very small amount of cities. Basically building super tall. But what to do, what to do, what to do. Let's try to get the Stonehenge, um, get the trade route done up, um, get a monument. Sung Wu is not my favorite hero yet, so um, yeah, let's just worry about getting the city a little bit bigger. Actually, yeah, monument first. Found a tribal hut with some gold in it, and so the next thing I do want to do is buy a builder and get Tokyo up and running. Start chopping some stuff out. Uh, tile improvements are super important early in the game, um, but the barb has gotten away. Uh, the barb scout, I don't know where the barb camp is. I think that's all coastline here, so the barb camp must be down here somewhere. So I'll try to. There it is. Well, look at that. And that should be the error score. One, two, three, four. Yeah within six tiles of one of my cities. <sighs> I forgot, uh, zombies uh, for the player over the AI, so I'm gonna get double attacked from the zombie as well as a spearman, so I need to find a defensible tile. Uh, even across the river is better than standing still. Uh, there's no hills, there's no nothing for me to stand on. Um, I'm gonna go across the river and try to bait some attacks and this is a very small like that's a very japanese start uh i've got a little islet or uh, island here basically and i'm thinking this mountain might actually block off the rest of the map so yeah we're pretty safe uh except for the zombies and the barbarians uh so i should get a religion as soon as i make a holy site <laughs> uh so holy site here uh campus there um, and I'm going to need some units because there is no way I can withstand any of this nonsense. Um, at least that's a three. I'm looking at the defense modifier. Um, yeah, let's go here and try to stand up a little bit. Uh, scout, you're back and healed up. Not much you can do, but let's go give a little bit of defense to the city. We can make our religion... And here in Tokyo, the next thing I want to make is the holy site, yes, uh, campus, yes. Uh, the government plaza actually I think is going to end up on the stone. I'll have to chop the stone out to get the, yeah, so I need a builder actually. The first thing I need here is a builder. Pyramid, so 
pyramids. Oh, so many wonders. Pyramids are so good for so long in the game. Oh, do I? No, let's get the builder. Let's get the builder first. One thing at one thing at a time. Uh, I'm so torn. Tr traitor. And then... Uh, uh, there's so many things I need. <laughs> like, for me to get an archer, that means I'm probably not going to get the pyramids. Uh, the builder me like... Uh, 200 gold. So that's 40. That's 8 turns away from buying a builder. Let's get the trader up. And then use that production to make a builder. Next thing we need to do is to pick a religion. Uh, and then we are going to pick the butterfly. And our religion today is going to be Peapod. If you know, you know. <laughs> so thank you, Cat. <laughs> uh, what to do? I mean, choral music isn't a bad play. Uh, plus one of many for cities within two spe with two specialty districts. And I'm going to really district up my area. Um, work ethic for faith adjacency. Hopefully, I have at least three. But that's only three. Like uh, feed the world, feed the world, feed the world, feed the world. I need big cities. I need big cities. Lots of districts. And I think I'm going to get a lot of wonders unless for some reason I roll. Uh, so Sacred Places isn't bad. But I think usually with Feed the World, you just go to Gadwaras to get the extra faith, uh, the extra housing. Yep. Three more error score should push us over a normal age. Yep. 16 out of 28 so we're eight points away from a golden age and the next thing like I really need to start thinking about units I've got one spearman left and he's got very little health uh, uh, the, zomb the zombies the zombies uh, I, I'm gonna fortify in the capital uh, and let the zombies defeat themselves on my scout and maybe level the scout out uh, but the trade route's gonna die yeah I knew that was gonna happen I don't see my trade route actually living unless it pathfinds up this way. If it pathfinds down here, I feel like it's going to get captured. Ah, uh, there's no good choice. I need so many things, but I'm going to go swordsman, get my my city defense up, um, try to kill off some of these zombies, or at least I can fortify and defend some tiles because I can't build a district or put a builder out into a district. Or potential district without the zombies attacking and, and capturing them. Oh, poop. Uh, so units are starting to come towards my second city. They, they can't raise my capital, but they sure can raise my second city. And with the, the Ursa lock, that means I, I would completely lose the ability to have that city. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, and they captured my trade route. Oh, so many bad things. Swordsman, uh, let's get to the second city to try to keep that. I mean, I'm six turns away from getting there uh, because the the zombies in the trade route. Anyway, um, yeah, they're just going to kill themselves on my, s yeah. Uh, let's get walls. Let's get an archer. Unfortunately, I, I wanted to be building infrastructure, not defending myself, but that's the zombie mode. Uh, it probably means that the rest of the AI is in the same boat. Oh, look at all the damage. Oh, the horror. There's horseback riding and our government. Uh, the government should help a lot, actually. I'll do oligarchy to give me more melee strength. Although, we wonder. Oh, pyramids. Great people. Oh, there's so many better things to be doing. I need, I need, oh, so hard. Like, I, all I want to do is to make good, cool things. Um, okay. I don't have districts yet, so let's go with Wonder Production. Um, pyramids. Uh, let's go with all our oligarchy. Wah, wah. I uh, will put in uh, maritime, maritime industries. No, I don't want maritime industry. I want to go get, yeah. 
And then my wild card, uh, production in all cities. And that way maybe I can build the walls or some units faster. For science, we shall do currency. Yes. Oh, the pathfinding. For some reason, my, my swordman decided to go up this little island instead of going towards the city. L look at the pathfinding now. Like, honest to goodness. Honest to goodness, the pathfinding in this game is so frustrating. Um, uh, so I've lost my trade road as well. <laughs> Crap. Let's get more units. Uh, I don't want to be wasting time on units. Uh, get another archer. So I'm having fun. <laughs> A tornado outbreak? No. <laughs> oh, jeez. With my government, though, and with uh, the bonuses, like I'm doing a fair amount of strength. I got five advantage to the barbarian. Uh, so I've got plus ten. I've got a thirty archer versus a twenty warrior. With all my bonuses right now, with my government and all that stuff. Um, the zombies are just defeating themselves against my city walls, but uh, the second that archer starts to go against me is bad news bears. Um, I, again, I don't want to be wasting my time on this stuff, but um, I need I need to defend myself before I can get better. So let's put walls up. Kira, kill off the rest of the units. Um, he has garrison, so let's put him actually in classical. Swordsman can get battle cry. Uh, and I've got the gold now to buy a Bob a builder. And I'll do that again in Tokyo where I've got uh, Magnus already established. Yeah, I'll buy a builder. And the thing now is try to find a, a great person. Actually, it would help a lot. I feel like I'm going to be behind any of the AI that I do find. Although I'm not in a big rush to go meet them either. There's only going to be four. There's three other AIs to worry about. So I'm going to push down towards this barb camp and just give you an idea of now the bonuses I have between my government and the battle cards I have. I'm going to take my swordsman and go against their swordsman. And I am now 51 versus their 30. I've got uh, five advantage versus barbs. I've got battle cry and I've got uh, combat strength versus from my government. Yeah, huge, 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 huge bonuses. So uh, take them while you can. Uh, builder, now I can actually, I'm going to the queue. I'll stop the granary. Yeah, I don't mind chopping the granary out. Uh, the, the overflow will go. So let's remove the stone. And that means the queue should now be open to do a government plaza. We'll get the government plaza next turn. I'll go down here and chop out the holy site. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place down the campus first. Which is a natural plus three because of the uh, government plaza. Oh no, there's a fire! Where did the fire come from? <laughs> and we'll chop it out with the builder next turn and then put the holy site where that is. I've got another governor, so let's put Pingala into classical. And go from there. Uh, apocalypse mode is not fooling around this game, is it? <laughs> Unless that's the same tornado just circling around. Um, I need to kill this bloody archer. That's the problem. I might lose that spearman. Let's uh, step up and kill some units off. I didn't want to step out with my, my archers because I really don't want to lose the archers. But uh, you have to take a little bit of uh, risk every once in a while. Yeah, campus in four turns, holy site in seven after that. And we need more builders. With another archer blow, the swordsman can actually go clear that barb camp. Three more air score, five away from a golden age. No yet sign of a uh, era changeover, but I need to cure. I need to heal that swordsman up. Uh, campus in two turns. Of course, I've got my swordsman on that river and the river flooded. Ah, it's just torture. <laughs> Is it? Oh, I lost my swordsman to that. Oh, come on. Okay. I get you, game. I get you. 
And I get a zombie spawn at the same time. <laughs> well, this is actually kind of challenging, this game. That's okay. Uh, let's retreat with my archers. Ah, damn it. That art, that swordsman was so strong. Um, I do want to kind of... Oh, there's another... That looks like... That looks like a city-state, but it's not, I know it's not, so it has to be an AI. Okay. Uh, we can go towards apprenticeship. Um, three different specialty districts. Build H. Well, two engineer. Well, I'm going to stay towards the things I've got boosted to try to push push myself through the science tree. Uh, now in Tokyo, let's uh, let's get a builder, and I think I can make a holy site in seven turns. Okay. Uh, so pop in three. So as long as uh, the era doesn't end in exactly ten turns, I can do a holy site to get the golden age. I need seven turns. Yeah, that's coast, coast, coast. I'm on an island. I'm on my own island. I'm never, I'm never leaving my island. I don't need to. Now, do I not need to? I can't do a science victory because a science victory is disabled. So how else do I win this? Um, I'm going to have to go find other people, actually. If I want to do a culture victory or a faith, eventually I'm going to have to find somebody. Next, we might as well place the holy site down. I should probably go with commercial. What's the adjacency looking like on a commercial hub? Plus four. It's not bad. And let's take a look at the theater square. Plus four. Again, I can get a plus three there. So I don't mind as long as it's more than a th uh, three. So I'll go a commercial hub there after next district. Um, what does a holy site look like now? Should be much better. Yeah, we got a six. Uh, I'll go with a six. Ten turns, and I should have no problem. And we're going to end the episode there, a short one. But, uh, we will roll... No, you know, I'm going to leave the roll too. The, the roll for the next era, I'm going to let you guys, if anybody has any comments on what I could add to the roll. Because we're gonna, we'll roll away from the Ursa lock and see what else we can come up. Maybe I get no wonders for the end of the era. Tasty holy site. And I can make Machu Picchu. Uh, mountain tiles provide standard adjacency bonuses to commercial hubs, theater square. Now, that would be kind of cool because then mountains as well as districts would all give major adjacency. However, I think I'm gonna be basically settling this island. And there's only like one little mountain range here and a couple single I like there's not enough mountains to be worth worrying about Machu Picchu. Uh, finally have a builder in classical and I'm going to s go do the grapes or the wine first I think for the amenity. Um, I'm in a negative amenity situation that's uh, my my people aren't very happy with it all or housing actually. So I need to get, uh, I need everything in my capital. I'm actually going to place down and put down the pyramids, I think. Um, yeah. If I get it, I get, if, if we roll the fact that I can't get a, a wonder next era, then I will give up uh, four turns of production. Unless I can build it out. Um, I could chop, can I get there in three turns? One, no, nah, there's nothing I can get to in time to chop because there's all these chops up here too to go. I'll leave it go. Uh, might get it. Actually, uh, there's so many things I need. There's so many, I, I can't waste my time on that. Let's get a monument. Finally replaced the, the trade route to classical and now that Tokyo has a campus and a holy site and a, a government plaza, this trade route now should be a lot tastier. If I go here... Make trade route. Oh, yeah. Six food, two production, six gold. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's too bad I didn't have secret societies where I could get the extra trade routes, too. That would be amazing. Yeah, those, these internal trade routes. I need to get trade routes uh, as many as possible. Builder and classical. Second thing, we're going to chop this uh, jungle out. And that's going to be a really good uh, commercial hub. I'm going to prioritize commercial hubs and um, industrials. Yeah, it's a plus three, plus three, plus three. And maybe avoid the uh, volcano a little bit. Although I don't know if it matters. 
Maybe between turns all layout, maybe with industri industrial zone might make sense to be put here, actually. Yeah, let me, th let me think about it. Here's the end of the era, and we have fires everywhere, but we are in a golden age. And I could build a Petra. I don't think I will. I can build a consulate, and I can build a diplomatic quarter. Diplo quarter will help me to get some more adjacency. So, yeah. We can do the dedication here. Uh, again, there's just me and three other people. Uh, free inquiry, monumentality would let me use my faith. I'm only getting 13 faith per turn. Again, probably not. I, I'm probably better off just building builders. Uh, Exodus would give me movement uh, for all missionaries and plus extra charges. Or free inquiry would give me Eureka's. Um, I'm leaning towards free inquiry. Uh, because even if I do settle like six more cities in this area, actually I could buy, if I could buy, let me first take a look at the adjacency on a holy site. A two, and then a campus would make that a three, so that'd be three more, per, yeah, no. I, I was debating about, um, if I should rush uh, monumentality or not. I don't think the first first Arab monumentality is always the best. I think what I'm going to do is a free inquiry start. And from this point, I need you to comment if there's any changes you want to make to the wheel before I do anything else, before I make any settlers, before I do anything like that. We're, we'll roll again with your input and see what changes should be made into the game. Uh, I feel like I'm probably behind on science. I'm probably behind on culture. But if I can get two or three more cities out in this area, get some boats out, we, I should be in pretty good shape. So thank you for watching this episode of God Take the Wheel, and who knows what's going to happen next episode. Bye.